Are you looking to put specific time slots in an email so someone can select a time for an upcoming meeting? Well, now in HubSpot, you can. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot has a meetings tool that allows you to insert specific times in your email to make it easy for giving access to your calendar without really giving the whole thing. So just by giving them specific times to choose from, it makes it possible for them to select the one that fits most and then put it in the slot that you've reserved for that person. So let's jump in and see how to do that here in your inbox and then also how that registers back on your scheduling pages in HubSpot. So here I've got the meetings area of HubSpot pulled up. To get there, we're gonna to go to sales and then down to meetings. So you'll see that we've, I've got four set up here and actually they used to call these meeting links, but now they're called scheduling pages. So depending on when you've watched a video about meetings or whatever, this button may have changed, but they're gonna be the same thing. So your scheduling pages are going to actually be a page that you have to have created first in order for you to use meeting or proposed meeting times. So what they look like when you've synced your inbox with HubSpot. So if you haven't done that yet, check out our video on how to do that. But you'll, ha you'll have to enter your contact first. And then once you do, you have the chance to go to here to meetings and insert proposed times. So there are other tools on the market that allow you to do this. And they were somewhat earlier to the game than HubSpot. But you know what? Now that HubSpot has this, everything that you want is right here in one interface. So I can insert proposed times. So here it pulls up a calendar that allows me to see what's open on my calendar. And again, this has to be done inside of Google, or excuse me, inside of meetings, syncing your calendar with either Google or Outlook to make sure that the information presented here, your contacts don't see this. I'm just seeing this now to propose the meeting times to this recipient in the email. So I choose the duration of the meeting that I want. So let's say that a rep is reaching out to me to discuss an upcoming product um, you know, feature and they want some of my time. So I'll say, you know what? I'm gonna put 15 minute slots in this email so they choose one of them and they don't book one of my one hour time slots. That's an option. Let's say I'm booking a kickoff meeting and I need an hour. I'm gonna look for an hour. So that's going to be the duration. The title, I can choose this to be whatever I need it to be. So in this case, kickoff meeting with Ali is going to be this, this case. The location is going to be custom or actually a video conference. I've got the Zoom integration installed in HubSpot. So it's already here in my meeting link, perfect. If you need it, uh, help on that, watch our Zoom video. But I'm actually gonna then just select Zoom and we're good to go. Now this is where I talked about that scheduling page which needs to be set up in HubSpot. So it's gonna pull up my four scheduling pages that I've got here. I'm just gonna use my general one. But again, if you only have one option, it's only gonna pull up your default one. Otherwise you have all of them here. So I've got a description I can put in, uh, you know, we're gonna uh, kick off projects XYZ. And then ultimately I need to select a couple of times over here. So I can select up to 10 time slots for that recipient to see in the email. So right now I'm unavailable because this actually, these days have already passed. And then I'm blocked out these two days. So we're actually gonna to go to the next week and we're going to say, okay, this time slot's available here. We're gonna select that, select this one and this one maybe over here as well. And then I'm gonna click insert times and they go right inside of my email. So the title that I actually have here is gonna be at the top. The guest is gonna pull in the name from your to field in the email. And then these time slots are going to appear in chronological order. Love that so that it's easy for the recipient to use on the other end. When they book, it'll actually then come through just like any other meeting booking in that contact. If they're not currently a contact in HubSpot, they will be made a contact in HubSpot. If they are, this activity and meeting information will show up on their activity record inside of their contact view inside of HubSpot. Super easy. And then the bonus about uh, booking through HubSpot is Actually, in these scheduling links now, HubSpot makes it possible for the recipient, if they need to, reschedule or cancel the meeting as well. So again, back to that customer, having more control and making it convenient to do this meeting instead of the back and forth of email is wonderful. So that's it. Go ahead and give it a shot. Insert those meetings into an email and see how life can be much easier on the other side. For more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button and we will see you next week.